Good morning, everyone. Our entrance antiphon. You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood from every tribe and tongue and people and nation and have made us into a kingdom, priests for God. Alleluia. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Let us call to mind our sins, asking for the Lord's loving kindness and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, raise us up, we pray, to the author of our salvation, who is seated at your right hand, so that when our Savior comes again in majesty, those you have given new birth in baptism may be clothed with blessed immortality. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. One night, (coughs) while Paul was in Corinth, the Lord said to him in a vision, Do not be afraid. Go on speaking and do not be silent, for I am with you. No one will attack and harm you, for I have many people in this city. So Paul settled there for a year and a half and taught the word of God among them. But when Gallio was proconsul of Achaia, the Jews rose up together against Paul and brought him to the tribunal, saying, This man is inducing people to worship God, contrary to the law. When Paul was about to reply, Gallio spoke to the Jews. If it were a matter of some crime or malicious fraud, I should with reason hear the complaint of you Jews, But since it is a question of arguments over doctrine and titles and your own law, see to it yourselves. I do not wish to be a judge in such matters. And he drove them away from the tribunal. They all seized Sosthenes, the synagogue official, and beat him in full view of the tribunal. But none of this was of concern to Gallio. Paul remained for quite some time, and after saying farewell to the brothers, he sailed for Syria, together with Priscilla and Aquila. At Sancrie, he had shaved his head because he had taken a vow. The word of the Lord. God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God is King over all the earth. He brings people under us, nations under our feet. He chooses for us our inheritance, the glory of Jacob, whom he loves. God is King over all the earth. God mounts his throne among shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God is King of all the earth. (laughs) 
a l e l u y a a l e l u y a Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. a l l e l u y a a l l e l u y a The Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. When a woman is in labor, she is in anguish because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy that a child has been born into the world. So you, are also, so you also are now in anguish. But I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy away from you. On that day, you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. The Gospel of the Lord. It may seem a little bit strange that Jesus, all of a sudden, at the Last Supper here, is starting to speak about a woman in labor and so forth, but there's actually a little bit of a scriptural backdrop that can be helpful. It's in Isaiah chapter 66, it speaks of a woman who gives birth before her childbearing, the child, birth pangs, birth pangs. And Uh, It is a a tradition of the church that Mary actually herself gave birth to Jesus without the birth pangs. But she was going to suffer birth pangs in another moment. And that is that at the moment of her anguish before the cross when Christ is crucified, that now she is suffering the pangs of birth. That is, as her son suffers and dies, of course, and at, in John's gospel, he says, woman, behold your son, son, behold your mother. She becomes the spiritual mother of the church, which is symbolized, of course, as Christ's um, side is then pierced, right? That blood and water flow forth, symbolizing baptism and the Eucharist. And... So a birth is kind of taking place there, the birth of the church. It is a new uh, motherhood that she is being given over John, the beloved disciple, and by extension to all of the disciples. Jesus is giving her over, kind of as a, a last will and testament act, right? So he gives his mother, and his mother standing before the cross in such agony seeing what happens to her son, knowing his complete and perfect innocence, right, suffers this experience, these kind of birth pangs. And so, and there's kind of a, a hint of this also you see in the book of Revelation, chapter 12. But uh, so the idea here, of course, is that in her labor, the woman does indeed suffer, but there's a, such a joy such a grace, such a blessing after the child is born that um, she forgets all of this. She sets it behind. And Jesus wants his disciples, you know, to be aware that, yes, you're going to experience some suffering. You're going to experience the loss of me. But there'll be such a joy that will come as well one day. And, of course, at Pentecost, their whole spirit is renewed and, uh, of course, they first see him risen from the dead, which is the first thing. And then at Pentecost, they will forget all of that, and they will drive forward um, and continue to proclaim the gospel, even in the face of persecution, as we see the kind of thing mentioned in our first reading. So we ask the Lord for um, the grace to always uh, rejoice and that we are members of the church, Christ's body. We are uh, daughters and sons of Mary, our spiritual mother, and we are uh, united with the apostles and the disciples all the way back to Jesus' day in this constant call to be the family of God, 
members of the body of Christ. So let us rejoice in this great blessing, and let us also be willing to bear any hardships as Our Lady bore such hardship in the moment of her son's torturous death. Amen. Let's stand and offer our prayers. Jesus tells us that whatever we ask the Father in his name, he will give us. Inspired by this, we bring the Father our needs. For missionaries, may God protect and guide them as they bring the gospel to all people. Let us pray to the Lord. For the salvation of the world, may the love of Christ overwhelm the hearts of those who do not know the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. For those experiencing religious persecution, may they be protected by the strength that comes from knowing and following God. Let us pray to the Lord. For those in this community of faith graduating from high school or college, may the Holy Spirit guide them in living their vocation in holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died in faith. Mary Higgins, Michael Mandry, Elaine Guerrera, Guerrea, and especially for those who have no one to pray for them, may they rest in peace and be brought into the fullness of life in heaven with God and the angels and saints. We pray to the Lord. For our own prayers, our own special needs, the many concerns and thoughts uh, that uh, weigh upon our hearts, that as we bring them to the Lord this day, they may find favor in his sight, and he might grant us an answer in accordance with his will. We pray to the Lord. Eternal Father, we trust that everything you do is for our eternal good. Please look with favor upon the requests we have brought you today. We ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, our ascended Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, is, where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the night. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in, our, in your presence and minister to you. <clears throat> Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. <clears throat> Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace. I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter on the world, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon. Christ our Lord was handed over for our transgressions and raised again for our justification. Alleluia.
On Fridays, we have a, some Fridays, we have a few minutes of adoration till about 12 o'clock. <clears throat> Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that, redeemed by the passion of your Son, we may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O salutari sostia, que celi pannis ostium, bella premun ostilia, darobur fer auxilium, Trino que domino, sit sempiter a gloria, qui vitam sine termino, no bistonet in patria. Amen.
Let us pray together on the back of the page. Uh, Anima Christi. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, embolden me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Never permit me to be parted from you. From the evil enemy, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you for age upon age. Amen. Now let me the sacred heart of Jesus. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us, Christ, hear us. God, the Father of heaven, God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, God, the Holy Spirit, Holy Trinity, one God, heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father, heart of Jesus formed by the Holy Spirit in the Virgin Mother's womb, heart of Jesus substantially united in the Word of God, heart of Jesus of infinite majesty, heart of Jesus, Holy Temple of God, Heart of Jesus, Tabernacle of the Most High. Heart of Jesus, House of God and Gate of Heaven. Heart of Jesus, Glowing Furnace of Charity. Heart of Jesus, Vessel of Justice and Love. Heart of Jesus, Full of Goodness and Love. Heart of Jesus, Abyss of All Virtues. Heart of Jesus, Most Worthy of All Praise. Heart of Jesus, King and center of all hearts. Heart of Jesus, in whom are all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Heart of Jesus, in whom dwells all the fullness of the Godhead. Heart of Jesus, in whom the Father was well pleased. Heart of Jesus, of whose fullness we have all received. Heart of Jesus, desire of the everlasting hills. Heart of Jesus, patient and rich in mercy. Heart of Jesus, rich to all who call upon you. Heart of Jesus, fount of life and holiness. Heart of Jesus, propitiation for our offenses. Heart of Jesus, overwhelmed with reproaches. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our iniquities. Heart of Jesus, obedient even unto death. Heart of Jesus, pierced with a lance. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection. Heart of Jesus, our peace and reconciliation. Heart of Jesus, victim for our sins. Heart of Jesus, salvation of those who hope in you. Heart of Jesus, hope of those who die in you. Heart of Jesus, delight of all the saints. Lord, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Jesus, meek and humble of heart. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, look upon the heart of thy most beloved Son and upon the praises and satisfaction which he offers thee in the name of sinners and to those who implore thy mercy. and thy great goodness, grant forgiveness in the name of Jesus, the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, who lives and reigns with thee forever and ever. Amen. Tantum ergo sacramentum Venere mur certernui Et antiquum documentum No voce da ritui Prestet fide supplementum, sensum defectui, genitori genitoque, lause jubilatio. Salus honor virtus quoque, sit et benedictio. 
โปรเจเดนตีอาบุตรเควทำพาสิทธ์แล้วดัดซีโออามิน You have given them bread from heaven, Hallelujah. Let us pray, O oh God, when this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of Your passion. Grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of Your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of Your redemption. Who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Brahmin God, the Man most holy. Blessed be Your holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and His angels and His saints. We pray and ask Our Lady's intercession as we, in this noon hour of this day, the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Let us pray, pour forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please stand. Holy God, we praise Thy name. Lord of all, we bow before Thee. Honor Thy scepter. All in heaven, above adore thee. Infinite, I vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. Infinite, thy vast. Do 
Good. Right. Listen, I, 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 I called yesterday. It was, so, it was my day off. And there was a, a sun, an ascension, so we had a longer mass in the morning. Yeah. When I got the message from the nurse, I never heard it. I didn't listen. But then I guess somebody from Newark got out yeah. there because I got called later. And I was about to, I got dressed, I got to start out the door, and then he called me back, this other guy, and he goes, oh, they just told me that the, a, a priest from Newark was out there, so, so I know, because, were you out there? I was with her. Yes, okay, good, that's good. didn't even know she passed. Yes. She was just like, close. I mean, really? We yeah. I was in her room, and she just, you know, I prayed for the rules, and I was just sitting there, and, we didn't even know she passed, and the nurse came in and said, she's gone. You know? Wow. Said, so she had a peaceful death. Well, that's what, much like my dad is when, you know, when he went, his, we were in the house. Uh, you know, he had only had like nine days from his diagnosis. He had been sick with the yeah. pancreatic cancer, but, you know, he was up and down, up and down, and he had missed a doctor's appointment, you know, weeks earlier. But uh, because he was sick, so then he was do he went to the makeup, and they're like, "You need to go right to the hospital." So, and then they got the diagnosis, and then, you know, he, you know, we had to help him get to the bathroom just the last yeah. few days and all this kind of thing. And then on the day he died, it was the 31st. We I did mass. Most of the people were in the house. I did mass at like, I forget, like around noon yeah. by the time everybody yeah. got there. And because uh, we were watching him just go like by, you know, each day he was half the, per, you know, half alive from the day before, like yeah, over yeah. about three to four days. Yeah, he was still conscious. He hadn't spoken in about three or four days. Um, I gave him a piece of the whole Holy Communion, you know, and did the anointing and the Mass and the whole bit, you know, and and he died within about four hours. So very peaceful. We were all sitting around. Good. And. Uh, like I hadn't even really noticed similar like you, like I, where I was sitting there and my other brother, we were, so we were praying and going back and forth and then doing little things and then one of my brothers, a couple of my brothers were paying real close attention to his breathing and the rest of us were kind of just sort of, and then all of a sudden, wait, 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 wait. You know, and it's like, and you could, you could tell that right around three, 3.55ish or something like that, he, he died and, uh, so, uh, you're used to this. I mean, yeah. more than most people. Do right. Start. Yeah. Well, actually, that was the only time I was ever really in a room with somebody who passed. That's the, you know, I go. I'm there at those last moments often enough. But it's 